Hello. Hello! Welcome back. Yes, to uh, Woolly Wednesday again. Yes, another one. Woohoo! Time is whizzing by. Um, <laughs> we just realised that we never introduced ourselves. Yeah. Um, so we thought actually we'd better this time, wouldn't yeah. we? So I'm Stuart. And I'm Anya. And this is the Woolpatch, our yeah. shop. Um, so, yeah. a brief about us, because mm. we have done an introduction about what the vlogs are, but not really about us. No, we haven't, have we? And we realised when we were watching the Fibre Hustle guys, they were like, so I think Anya works there, maybe? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. no, I just hang out there a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, we thought a, a wee brief yeah. introduction wouldn't go amiss. So, I'm Stuart, and uh, the wool patch is my shop. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to be a teacher um, for 16 years. Yeah, you were, oh. He was a drama teacher. Yeah. Yeah, was Can head you of, tell? Head of, <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> I was always one of those that was behind the camera, uh, never wanted to be on stage. So I was teaching ahead of drama and we would be on plays and all sorts with secondary school. So yeah. what's that, 12 to 18, 11 to 18. Mm -hmm. And always when it came to doing, you know, the lessons and performing, I, I would hate it. We wouldn't do it at all. Yeah. Um, and the, the kids, he loved the it, kids are always like, sir, why, you're a drama teacher. Why don't you like acting? It's like, but there are so many more things, aren't there? Yeah. To drama. This is true. You know, there's this set design, true. there's script writing, there's... Direction. Yeah. And all that kind they, of jazz. So that was what I was always like to do. Yes. That was the best part of the job, doing the school shows, doing all the backstage yeah. stuff. Um, so I was always in the creative arts anyway, so so this is not too foreign. Uh, it is uh, quite well, different. <laughs> I didn't you, know you anything came into the wool patch having minimal experience. I didn't know anything about wool. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing about yarn or fabric mm. or what to do with it. Yeah. You flailed. Um, um, kind of knew a little bit about fabric because yeah. we would put on the school show, so we would have to make costumes. Mm. I wouldn't really make the costumes. I would just work with the tech department <laughs> to say, "Well, oh, can we have this? Can we have this? Please. <laughs> and Ting, who you obviously seen from our other uh, sewing bee um, mm. episodes, he would uh, be in the school pantomimes that we would do every oh, Christmas really? and he would be the dame. I think we need to see photos. <laughs> I've got loads. I've got loads of them. Yeah. So, so you can let us all know down below if you'd the like to see photos. Of um, it was a great job. It was really, really good. I mean, I did it for 16 years. Loved it. I knew it was a career and a vocation completely. Yeah. It's a hard job though, being a teacher. Well, I, you were living and breathing it and whilst that was great when I was younger I just thought that uh, as you got older perhaps things would change or things would get a bit easier yeah and it kind of did <laughs> but then sometimes politics got in the way and uh, and and all that sort of stuff and I didn't want to turn into a, a grumpy teacher and I, I and I also wanted to do more for myself because, you know, you start getting older and you, you, things start to change, priorities start to change. Yeah, your life sort of, you start to realise there's more to life than just work. Indeed, yeah. Um, but I couldn't be that teacher where uh, I went home at half past three and did nothing. Or I couldn't be that teacher that um, where you wrote less report writing yeah. to try and speed things up because my reports would always be detailed, you know. And couldn't so I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it at all. <laughs> so it's either all in or all out. So mm -hmm. I then just two thousand and sixteen January, I just went. That's Big it. Jump. Yeah, time to hand the resignation in and look for a job. Um, or uh, most people look for a job. Stuart bought a shop. Well, I didn't even know what I was going to do at that point. Yeah. I, oh, I, the not? resignation had gone in already. Yes, because I knew if I didn't hand the resignation in, I would you would never leave teaching. Because yeah, like many did. of them, they're always saying, oh, I'll do it next year. I'll do it next year. Yeah, and never get round to um, it. Whereas I'm a firm believer that you, know, you just do it and something will happen. And then within uh, literally a couple of weeks, me and Ting, because Ting is uh, still teaching, I've left him teaching, uh, he's yes. head of business studies, uh, and he was like, well, let's go on Dalton's Weekly. So we Googled craft shops for sale and so found this place. Right and this place had only been a couple of years before, uh, two, three years before, um, set up by a lovely lady called Caroline in the village. She is lovely. Yeah. Oh. Such a sweet Learned one. so much from her. Um, and she was ready to, to retire because she was probably working harder yeah. in the wool shop than she was when she was working. Hasn't she started this to help her retire or something like that? Yeah, yeah. And then it's just then got just, busy yeah. and busy. Um, and I came over in the Easter holidays, thought I'll come over and have a look. Um, yeah. And I walked in and I just fell in love with the place. Understandably. Yeah. Understandably. But not knowing a thing about wool. 
But since that, you know, it's like when you're learning a language, you learn the language quicker when you're absorbed in that country rather yeah. than. So you know, day one you're learning about wool, and I knew nothing. About, I didn't know what double it's knit yarn. was. Aaron, yarn. Oh, yarn, yeah, <laughs> double knit. Aaron, four ply. I had no clue. Yeah, no clue. Still learning. Yeah, but that's the, that's, well, that's the a good thing about it. So absolutely. So that was now. This is my third year um, of of running a business. And and doing all things wool and fabric, and I'm still learning. You know, I you know, I'll, I'll buy okay. I'll buy products, and maybe it's the wrong product because it just doesn't sell. But you, you don't know until you try. You know, this is it. And if you don't test the waters, you never yeah, know. That's right. So it's good to try this. And you know what? If it all goes to pot, I'll just go back to teaching. <laughs> no, no, you won't. I haven't looked back. I have to say, I've never looked back. Yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't even get that gut feeling on when they all went back to school on September the 1st because I had the summer holidays uh, to literally transfer. I'd had a couple of times coming over here, but I finished teaching in July, the whatever it was, and I was here to start on September the 1st. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's pretty nifty. But on that September the 1st, uh, uh, yeah, just never looked back. But then that's because we're in a lucky, I'm in a lucky place here, Long Melford. It's mm. got great footfall. It's busy. Um, it's a proper it's way old school small town in that there's a lot of people through it and there is there yeah. are a few local yeah. small businesses. Yeah. It's so not overrun by big house no, shops no. or anything, which is yeah. really, really nice. And so I've got the tea helps. shop next door and she started that Therese started at the same time as, as me. Yeah. So and I can pop and have a shops. chat. Yeah, so you're not you're not lonely at all. And I'm, yeah. I'm sure some yarn shops can be, you know, you might get two customers a day, but Yeah. You yeah. get very busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm very yeah. lucky like that. So so that's where I am. So I've learned to knit um, since then. Um, yeah. I've learned, oh, I, I could crochet and before. You're, you're learning to sew. If you haven't sew. seen, yeah. you need to watch the most recent episode. We'll link it somewhere of the Great British Sewing Bee. Just skip to, we'll leave the number somewhere of Stuart showing off his new t-shirt yeah. that he has made for the first time. He made a, he stitched something for the first time. I know, and got a lot of love for that as well. Yeah. So thank you very much all for your comments on Instagram, if, yeah. you, if you saw that. I got oh, yes, was, some Instagram great well. comments back, so. He was set the challenge by Ting to to, yeah. to put it together in a week. So, yeah, yeah you did really well. Did I it? was so impressed with you, well done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you did a really good job. And he did it himself. That oh, yes, was the important yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, so. Well, uh, and the tutorial, I had oh, uh, yes, the crafty yeah, yeah, gentleman yeah. But tutorial. As in you, but as you put it together mm. yourself. But um, I don't. I still think I prefer the wool more than fabric at the moment. Yeah. But um, that's because you haven't found something that no, you. That's right. You know what I mean. So maybe if I get another, I'd like to do one in cotton now. Another t-shirt, but mm. some funky sort of. Yeah. Design rather than what Tig gave me. I must bring in. I'll bring in my book and we can have a look. Yeah. Because there might be some things you could you could steal. So that was my background. So yeah. that's so I'm that's where I am now here running the shop. Um, and as I was. Um, doing that. That's when I saw you. You were you were a customer, weren't you? Yes. And we've gone... I had just moved to the village, and I was like, I need to meet people because I've just come from. Because I lived so. I'm on you. Nice to meet you. I, my background is all test uh, software based, so I worked in the tech industry for quite a while. I was a software tester and had some awesome jobs, and then similar to you in that I just chucked it all in and I started working for myself in social media and marketing and that kind of jazz. It was a very pivotal moment with the workplace. I was like, okay, I'm done now. Mm. And I had left shortly thereafter. Worked for myself for a year, which was pretty hairy. But it was fine. It was yeah. good, like, but it was scary as. And then... Um, but then you probably knew, um, I can't go back to working for someone else, though. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. But but in saying that, I have since started working for somebody else, but it's a very small company. Right. And it's like a startup company, and we're all kind of in charge of what we're doing, if that makes sense. Yeah, so we all yeah. work together as a team rather than... But um, so I still work with software testers, which is awesome. But I now work in digital marketing and stuff. And I, yeah, I came in here because I just moved to the village Yeah. from yeah. Brighton. I lived in Brighton for 10 years and it was lovely. It's awesome, but uh, it's full on. It is full on. Um, and I grew up in the countryside, so I needed to move back to the countryside. I had longing for the countryside. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I moved here, came here and booked in to have a crochet lesson. I'm blessed him. I think the first lesson I came to, I wasn't particularly well that time. I wasn't particularly well when I came in. I was probably in, I was like, just show me stuff. And then I was just sitting <laughs> doing it. And then I was like, oh, this is not too bad. And then we came around again. Because this is where we have the lessons. Uh, we yeah. need to do a tour around the shop one time, don't yeah. we? But basically the shop is there and then this is like a little back room. Yeah, you can yeah. see some fabric and stuff yeah. here. Um, 
And yeah, that was it after that. I started coming mm. in more frequently. We had the lesson and I just started pottering in. Yeah. And we've been gradually trying to get him onto social media and stuff. Yes, since. well, you've been helping me with that. Doing um, Instagram and then doing maybe, um, what do you call it? Where you go, that program where you... Buffer. That's right. Where you, yeah, that takes a lot of planning. I've stopped yeah. doing that at the moment. <laughs> Oh, um, it's but, just getting you online. It was good. Yeah, and then, but from since then, that's when I then started watching these knitting uh, tutorials and yeah. podcasters, and that's when I then got, oh, I wouldn't mind doing that. And yeah. that's when we started talking about I it. Then, and then, yeah. now we have the world. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, a year later. I know. That's mad. And I can't get over how much I'm enjoying this as well, and how much that's impacting on the shop. Yeah, you know, we're well, getting... it's so sweet. The amount of people like, oh, I'm yeah. watching, like people in the village. So I go to yoga once a week, and Dawn, if you're watching, hello, and her better half. I'm only joking, Dawn, but they both go to yoga. Yeah. So after the show, we've been watching, and we think we sh you should be doing things like this. So it's one of their yeah. suggestions, which we already have been yeah. talking about. We're like, oh, we're going to do something. So more on that shortly. But it's it's but... it's local people watching and yeah. people from afar yeah. as well, it's like awesome. the Fiber Hustle Boys. Yeah. Oh, how nice! Thank you very much. Yeah. So for sweet. that, so uh, awesome. yes, the, uh, and the and the bringing of new followers. Yeah. So for the fibre hustle followers, mm. the subscribers. I hope you enjoy it. And they're awesome. So thank you for that. And and don't worry about googling my name. My name spelt as yeah. A I N E for anybody out there. A for the I N E, yeah. and it's Irish. So you say it on you. Like if, an easy way to remember it, Stuart. How do you remember it? Uh, like on your bike. Yeah. Go on, on your bike. <laughs> It's Easy great. way to remember it does. my name. It's great. Yeah. It's fun to do that. And then that's stuck ever since. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So that's us too, and that's uh, where we're at, and, and perhaps where we're going to go forward. Now. Yes, lots and lots of exciting yeah. plans. It's very exciting. But yes, I'm sitting crocheting at the minute. I'm working on, so before we get stuck in, mm. we're now moving on to exciting mm. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, for anybody out there who's also a bit eco conscious, we've been talking about this in the past, I've been trying to figure out a good pattern for cotton. So, Stuart has this cotton in yes, the shop. Yes. So, I thought I'd pick it up. It's actually quite lightweight. And the first pattern I tried, this was me messing, you can see it's not fully flat. I will do some sort of cutaway so you can see it properly. But it's quite holy and not ideal for using, applying lotion and then taking your face off, you know, makeup wise and stuff. Because I want to get out of the habit of using cotton um, face wipes. So I have been trying out different, I think this, this was the next one I tried, smaller, slightly tighter, but still a bit loose. And then we tried this one. So the pattern is still being iterated on and I'm currently working on a slightly different one where I'm doing, which Americans would call double stitch. We would call single stitch. No, the other way around. Other way around. Single, they, you <laughs> yes. call it single, we call it double. double so right. I'm doing more yeah. of those to start with yeah. and I'm just about to go into triple stitch slash Double stitch for Americans? Uh, double, uh, we call it treble. We yeah. call it, yeah, treble yeah. stitch. Yeah. See, I get my lingo wrong all the time. So, yeah, so that's do what i You know I'm what I love about this as well, watching you do that, is look at um, Anya's hook and oh, Anya's yeah. hair. And so, my Anya's... hair changes a lot. <sighs> I just came in the, yesterday, yeah, I was like, look at my hair. The curls have dropped a bit, so I pinned some of them back, but I've just had a pile of hair chopped off. But yes, everything matches, mm. which Stuart picks up on. Nobody else notices, oh. and I didn't do it on purpose, but I've got like slightly purpley yarn. Well, the and more and more I, I stay here, the more I'm actually going into colour. And, and Maria, you're going to love this. Uh, oh, these colours are fabulous. Um, in, the, in the shop. Um, uh, who will, I always used to start off as just sort of greys, but now I'm getting more and more into colour. So this is um, the... the, the Look at these. This, this is the, the cotton I'm using. So yeah. these are 100% cotton? 100% mercerized cotton. Oh, yeah. Both of us yeah. lean out. <laughs> the Fibre Hustle guys have an overshot camera. We've just got the one camera. We'll, we'll start saving up. We'll get our little <laughs> studio, <laughs> won't we? Um, and it comes in, this is so sheep's uh, katona. Oh, I don't know how you say sheep. Someone can tell us how sheepies. you say it. It looks like sheepies. Sheepies? Yeah. It, is it, or is it? Danish? Something like that. Sheep. Not sure. Sheep. What did you just say? <laughs> um, but we have a lot of crochets here in the shop who 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 do aragurumi, am amigurumi, what little toys, amigurumi? little oh, toys, okay. basically like what you're doing, um, uh, and it's going round and round and round, and then you yeah, lots of increases and decreases. But they don't really want to buy a hundred gram ball. No. Especially if you say like you're doing the nativity scene and you want to do Mary and you want to do Joseph and the Three Kings, you don't really want to spend a lot of money on lots of 100 gram balls of no. wool. So you get these for 25 grams. Yeah. I mean, it's tiny, a quid 20 for these. That's what I was going to say. I got two of those for what? You can get it for about two quid, basically. Yeah. And well, for you, those you, you had a little discount because yeah. you're yeah, on but, it. Yeah. But if you're buying these, so if you are doing things like I'm doing, 
you can get these and I've already made so I'm on my fourth one and yeah. there's still majority yeah. of the ball left mm -hmm. so economically wise you know it's very friendly yeah. and user friendly and, and environmentally 69 friendly 69 different colours yes. which will perhaps do a little shot the colours are yeah. awesome there's so many yeah so um uh, beautiful yarn, really nice. So it's just, so it's nice to try something different. So I'm hoping that will that will go down well. Yes. Um, because I've heard a lot about this brand. Um, if you've used the brand, uh, can you let us know how you got on with it or what you think of it? And how do you pronounce it? Yeah. That'd be really good. We should probably have Googled it like the, the Fibre Hustle guys do. Yeah. Google how to say it. Don't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm loving seeing this and I love how you're experimenting, trying, because with, with crochet, with your increasing, it's, you know, there, there is sort of a simple math to it of yeah. going round, do you put one, two, three, and then increase, one, two, three, increase yeah. and so forth. So we, you're, were driving, you're... we were driving to climbing last night and I did this one in the yeah, car. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> really good. I've been just sitting in the car doing it, poor husband. Like, um, don't talk to me, I'm counting. Yeah. So uh, we didn't... Uh, film a couple of weeks ago because I was at the Knitting and Stitch show in London. Yes. Yes. And we were supposed to take loads of footage mm -hmm. so we could have had cutaways during yes. this one but um, me and Tim completely forgot. Yeah. I should have sent a camera because then you would have had it but then you probably yeah. would have forgotten. We well. probably would have done. Yeah. You know what it's like you're in, there in the moment. Um, so the Knitting and Stitch show was at Olympia. I've never gone before um, and I had tickets to go. It was a little birthday treat. So me and Tim went to have a look round. Um, and it's uh, it's not a trade show, it's just a, an open show for everyone to go. Yes, I want to go um, next year. It's it's a bit more general. It's not like uh, um, knitting as in like the Edinburgh Yarn Festival where it is just wool uh, yeah. or yarn. And, uh, and, and Maybe perhaps, I want to go to that one too. Oh, I want to go to all to of the shows. <laughs> um, so it's a, it's a general one. So there are general brands there. There are also uh, shops there like myself selling their own wares. So you, you're getting, because it's for the general public to go to. Yeah. So we thought we'd go around because it's quite good for me to go to see perhaps what the current trends are, what other shops are selling. Am I missing out on something? Should I be stocking mm. something that perhaps I, uh, loads of other shops are doing? Um, but most of the stands were were general commercial shops like myself and I didn't see anything really different there. So, so that was that you... kind of That's reassuring. Nice. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, there was very little knitting there that I felt. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of cross-stitch. Considering it's called the Knitting and Stitch Show, yeah. I can understand the cross-stitch there, but I was a bit disappointed about the amount of knitting there. Um, a lot of fabric, but proper dressmaking fabric, not like patchwork fabric like what, mm. what we've well, got. Well, I, I was watching it. I was watching people on Instagram, people who I didn't realise were related to crafting, and, and they oh, were really? they were at the show, and I was like, I'm jealous. It was oh. some beautiful fabric in. Yeah, yeah, got lot, lots of, from that point of view, lots of dressmaking fabric. But yeah. I haven't gone down that route yet here, because the dressmaking fabric comes on huge bolts, whereas, yeah. um, you know, uh, cotton uh, for patchwork is like 44 inches, you know, compared mm. to the long bolts. But anyway, as I was going round, I came across uh, Erica Knight. Oh. Uh, very Who's British Erica brand. Uh, uh, she's a, a, a knit designer lady, um, knitwear designer, fashion designer, textiles. Uh, she has brand. her own brand. That is her brand. Okay. Uh, and I'd only just heard of her. Um, so I was looking around the stand, looking at the walls and chatting away and um, to, to a lady and she, uh, she says, oh, you, why don't you chat to Erica yourself? And I was like, oh, she was there. Oh, so I was really That automatically straight away impressed me because, you know, big companies sometimes don't have the main person there, do they? Because yeah. they're doing other things. Yeah. So to have her on the stand, then just chatting away with me. That's really yeah. cool. So we had a great chat. Do you mean you didn't get a selfie with her and be like, oh. I know, yeah, no, I got to get into that mindset, haven't I? And I was too busy talking about One wool. day, people, one day. <laughs> so uh, chatting away and oh, I was talking about- Yes, I got a bag, yes. <gasps> she gave me a bag of goodies because she enjoyed our chat. And I was talking about Lavenham. Yes, um, and Lavenham Blue. Lavenham Blue wool, which uh, made Lavenham famous in the 16th century. We, uh, here in Long Melford, we are what we are called a wool town because of our history of wool in the 16th century. Yeah. Lavenham is particularly famous as well, and it's like five minutes down the road. And there are five wool towns, uh, Long Melford, Lavenham, uh, Clare, Sudbury and Hadley. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've, that's why we, we get quite a lot of tourists here. But Lavenham, yeah. if you want to, if you're interested, go and research Lavenham. Google it. It's beautiful. All the walkie um, houses. Mm, indeed, it's a, it's like a, a village set in time. Uh, 
loads of money came in in the 16th century because of this uh they uh the fleeces would come in to lavenum yeah. they would dye it uh in the wool first yeah using woad so a beautiful blue yeah oh. then they would card it spin it and then weave it and then yes. they would export it. Oh, interesting. Mm. I thought they did it after. No, no, that's why they call it um, in the wool because they've yeah. got the fleece, that makes sense. buying the fleece and then do all the work with it. Uh, I mean, that's really, really shortened um, uh, what they what happened, but uh, it's, that's the basics of it. But it made Lavenham so rich. Yeah, Absolutely. it's a very wealthy area. So you can so, tell because we're surrounded by antique shops yeah, and right. you know all this kind of very fabulous thing. So I was talking to her about that because I'm interested in d using woad myself and dyeing. And so she gave me, she goes, oh, here, I have all the blues. So she gave me some blues. So she's given oh, wow. me um, to feel uh, and squish. So this is Erica Knight uh, British Blue. I need to have a squish. Oh, yeah. Oh, people, this is lovely. There's her cotton gossipium. Wild wool. Oh, I like this colour. This is very similar to the colour oh. I'm knitting with at the minute. A linen, studio linen. Look at these. Oh. And then, which I then just keeled over with delight. Ooh. Wool local. Don't worry, we'll do cutaways. Oh, yeah. Um, what is, oh. And that is phenomenal. Oh, that is all of the good squishiness. Yeah. I think these colours are my favourite. And that one I think I'm going to go for. It's four ply, but the yardage on it is incredible. It looks quite there is four, It's a huge amount, 450 metres on there. So two skeins could technically get you a jumper. Definitely three, but it will retail around about 12 quid. It's like, that's incredible. So you get a jumper out of that, 12, 24 for 36 quid. The yardage is what sold it to me, as well as it being a beautiful yarn. And, and they're all so the, nice. the, the beautiful colors that you can get. A lovely mm. small range, not like some yarn companies where you've got 40 colors. Yeah. Where do you start with the choice of colors? So I could just go, mm. do you know what? I think I'm gonna get that. Um, so chatting away with Erica, her daughter, Arabella was there as well, and um, uh, they were really, really. Oh, it's lovely to chat to them. And uh, this is British wool. That's uh, that yeah, one is yeah, lovely. Yeah. That's a British uh, blend: blue face Leicester and fine massa. Sounds so, like cheese. <laughs> so made in Britain, full Britain. So it's you know consideration of air miles and everything. It's cutting right down. Oh, that's that's a lovely Aran weight. I might yeah. get that in the winter. So it's a, a sustainable blend <laughs> of soft wool and natural nettle. Mm. What does that mean, natural nettle? Uh, nettle. So uh, as in, as viscose as in, is any type of viscose is is man-made, but it's natural plant fiber. Oh. So you, you pulp it down like bamboo. Um, I did not know that. But what was nice is they've put down that they've used it from nettle. So they've actually yeah, said they've what the said viscose is. Yeah. yeah. But this this one is phenomenal. I, re I just can't get over that. So that four ply, we're going to go. So if you've experienced Erica Knight with patterns or with wool, we'd love to know um, how you got on with it because that will just help me, you know, maybe decide whether to buy two lots or three so lots. So is this this one? <clears throat> no, that's World Wild. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's I'm not too sure about this one. No, that's that oh, one that's there. The um, ah. Because that's a box down the double knit, and I've already yeah. got several box down the double knits. So I don't yeah. think people will pay maybe that much money for that. It didn't seem too too unusual or too yeah too unique. Basically. Yeah. Whereas this that's four ply fabulous. is. I love the colouring of this. Yeah, yeah, so stunning. So yes, yeah, so let us know, please, what you think of Erica Knight. And uh, but we were, I was really chuffed, and it was just lovely chatting to them and work so working with a company that you know actually you know you can have a debate with and a yeah, conversation a discussion with, with them, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Um, so it was all in all a great, a great little trip out. Um, yeah. And, we, uh, and Ting brought some cross stitch stuff, and we had a a nice time there. Good laugh. Apart then from the puncture on the way home, we uh, had a puncture on the went way. Went back to the, uh, oh. the car park, and the car was flat. Yeah. I mean, uh, you left it unattended. Yeah. So, what do you expect? So, uh, it took a couple of more hours to get home, but uh, the idea that makes the, the oh, trip. Tiny string quartet playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yes, but that's, so, it sounds like a, it was a really good day out. So, lovely. next year I'll yeah. go and I'll take some footage. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, sounds about right. Uh, and I mean, uh, it would be nice to go up to Edinburgh Yarn Festival because loads of our followers are going up I there. I wonder, could we have a business um, trip? <laughs> 
Uh, what's his name? Vince is going up there. You know, the, you know the hoodie that I'm knitting. Yes. Uh, he's going up there. Um, loads of them are going up there. Mm. So it would be nice to yeah have a business trip up there. Mm -hmm. oh. What's next? So we have a knit. Aileen's knit. <clears throat> Come on. Oh. There we are. One of our customers, one of our knit and natterers, Aileen. Uh, is who is what, oh, such a lovely lady. She comes to our Knit and Natter Wednesday and Friday every morning. Um, and uh, she's a great supporter of the shop. Uh, and she knitted this jumper. So soft. What is that made from? So this is the Katia Merino 100%. And that's our current favourite so double knit. As in commercial yarn. Uh, 50 gram balls, beautifully soft because it's merino. It is treated so it is super washable so you can chuck it in the washing machine. Oh, um, but it's so smooth. And I thought I'd show you this off because she only finished it last week. So I said oh. to her, so can we talk about it? Yeah, um, and it's, it's from the book. So we all know I'm working on a project. It's from the same book. This is the Katia book. And it's stunning. number 50A. Is it 50A? Yeah, or 45. And, and this was using um, Colourway Pearl Blackberry, which was sort of this season's colour, mm. just gone. The silvery grey and, and the the silvery sort of purpley sort of muted. Kind of like a, a just soft plum colour. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Ready to um, and like, we, we like catty patterns, they're quite different. You, yeah. you can perhaps see a, I don't know, is it European style Most there? Most definitely. I was looking at the <clears throat> one on this side, I'm like, oh, I like her outfit. Yeah. The very... Um... I don't think they're ever really fitting either. They're, as in, you know, I like a close fit, but they're, they're, they'll do a nice sort of slouchy, the... yes. Yeah, so nice yeah. slouchy kind of, you can't really see. But nice slouchy sort of jumpers. And they're not, some of them are nice and easy. So if you're new to knitting, yeah, like me. But yes, lovely patterns in this book. I like it. This is a good book. Yeah, that's the only thing I said before with, with these type of books is that every pattern is for a different yarn. So mm -hmm. for me, stocking the pattern books is actually, I don't stock them anymore just because you might come in and buy that and want to knit that and I haven't got that yarn. Then, mm -hmm. you know, that, I mean, there's, I mean, there's so many, I mean, how many, there's over 50 there's patterns. Really, yeah. Um, but we do try our best to substitute the yarn. Um, yeah. And people, you must do that more. You don't feel you have to use the same yarn for the pattern. No. Your local yarn shop will help you find a substitute for um, a double knit, for another double knit, um, or to find the right brand that, that will fit the, the scale that you're knitting. You might have to do a, um, a swatch though. But um, Yeah, well, you, have, you should do that. We didn't do that with mine. No, no, not many people do it. I I'm don't do child. it. Uh, but, unless I'm doing a big project where I'm starting off something with, you know, I, something I've spent a lot of money on. Yes, you, know, you want to make sure it's going to fit. Six or right. seven hanks of wool that's <laughs> really, you know. You want to make sure that's going to fit. Yeah. Um, and so, right. but so thank really you, good. Aileen, for showing that off. Uh, just nice to see something knitted yes. up. Isn't Speaking it? of local fabulous people, so the cushions that we showed in oh, a yes. vlog a couple of weeks ago now, they're going out the door. Yeah. You just got an order for how many? Eight. No. Mind blown. Yeah. But they're fabulous. The new ones, because every time I come in, there seems to be a different one in. Yeah. Well, we've got Badger in there. Beautiful. Now. Yeah. Um, and uh, she's working on a fox too. Oh. But that means we had um, we had two green hairs, we had a blue hair, and we had yeah. an orange hair. All, all, all gone. All gone. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's within what? Two they're, weeks. They're stunning. Yeah. So if you do so. want one, <laughs> keep. But an that's eye the out. thing I've since starting here. That's what two years of finding so many local people with all these talents. So many talented people. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, shall we share our exciting news? Oh yes, got some great news. Yes, we are going to do... <laughs> uh, we're going to try and do a sew along. Woohoo! Yeah, we've so, been so inspired by the sewing bee, haven't we? Yeah, massively. And it's something we've talked about and I think we've had various suggestions. Yeah. And it's quite amusing. Everybody I talk to is like, because even Dawn, who I was talking about at yoga, she was like, you know, you should do it. And I was like, funny you should say. So we're going to do a sew along yeah. for the month of April. Woohoo! So we will be doing a separate set of videos for it. So mm. it won't be just a Wally Wednesday. It'll be separate wee videos and we'll break it up. So we'll do a wee bit each week and then yeah. you can learn with us basically. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do an apron. We're just going yeah. to do a real simple sew because because we are <laughs> we are simple. Yeah. We are, we're, we're beginners, it's, aren't it's we? We want to get confident. Skills. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Practice those yeah. skills, get stronger and more confident in them. And then yeah. for example, for me, I want to make cords and I don't want to make a complete mess of it. So I'd rather start with something nice and easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't do what I did and it. start with the shirt. <laughs> that kid's shirt yes, I did. You, Finished you, it though. Oh, well done. Yes. I can't remember whether we showed it on here or not. I don't think you no, did. No, we showed it on... Oh. Um, on the other program. Yeah, let, let him just dig out the shirt. He has been sewing, uh, he's, he has sewn up a kid's shirt, little shirt. Yeah, it was on the sewing bee. Yes, so if you've not been following along on the sewing bee. Has that got a button and everything? Yeah. Look yeah. at you so, go. Coloured buttons. Um, yeah, we did it on the sewing bee, so we can always cut to that finished one. But yes, yeah, so don't start with the shirt. No, because you the, had to, the, the, the colour and... Uh, but I am really, really pleased with it. Yeah, um, it's so cute. I mean, I learned a lot about it. Hemming. Uh, you learned a lot about yourself. And following a pattern, because <laughs> some patterns don't tell you how to hem. They just say no. hem. And obviously I have hemmed, but I've now got, a, a, you know, I've got a raw raw hem there because I didn't roll it over twice. Yes. So there are there are basic things like that that I'm looking forward to learning whilst doing this sew along. Yes. Um, and we're going to do it so that you can either use uh, recycle some recycled shirts to make it or you can get some nice new fabric yeah, we're gonna to have match a, your kitchen or... We're going to have a go with recycled shirts aren't we? We're yeah. going to go to the charity shop and just raid the, the men's sh shirt men's, section. Yeah, exactly. We might do a mix, depending on how many shirts mm, are available yeah. in the local charity shops, because there are a few within, you know, between here and Sudbury and stuff. But I know we've had a couple of comments from uh, from you lot on our sewing bee video saying, oh, you've inspired me to sew, or you've mm. inspired me to try and get more confident with the machine. And that we have a lot of classes like that here, actually. Yeah. People just want to get confident with the machine. Yeah. How to use the machine, the different stitches, because uh, yeah. some of these machines come with so many stitches, <gasps> know. you know, it's, you're never going to use half They're fabulous, them. but yeah, a bit overwhelming. Yeah, mine, yeah. Mine, I, machine I have at home is a nice old comfortable singer, which is, makes me yeah, happy. Just, just do a straight stitch, a couple of stitches yeah, in the soul, a couple of exactly. embellishment stitches. Yeah. All so pieces. we're going to be doing that, aren't we? So yeah. I, I, I hope that, I mean, either way it's going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's something different, yeah. isn't it? Be a bit of crack. And sure, if it all goes wrong, you can laugh at it all going wrong. <laughs> Because we will be doing it with you week by week. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting, especially as I'm away for one week. So we'll have to get that started yes. before I go. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're off. <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to try and squeeze another one in at some point here, won't yeah. we? Yeah. But um, it'll be grand. Yeah, indeed. Might so, get a wee head start. <laughs> so lots coming up, really. Yes. Uh, Lots, lots to do. Keep us up to date with what you're doing by commenting below. We do love reading them. Yeah. And we do reply. Yeah, we take it in turns. Yeah. We generally mark who is replying. Yeah, so indeed. Yeah. Um, and that's, so that's great to do. Um, and we'll just carry on with the same sort of format. Half hour videos, aren't there? Yes, uh, with all Where the we talk about the shop, we talk about what we're doing, we talk about new yarns and things in. Uh, so hopefully it yeah, appeals to you all and you enjoy following us and enjoy following perhaps the journey that we're on or that certainly the journey I'm on with the with the shop and how it's doing. <laughs> yes, we will be doing a shop tour soon. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to yeah. do that. Isn't it? Um, so make that's sure if you're new, subscribe, especially if you're the, from the Fibre Hustle boys. Yeah. Look at you being remembered to say I subscribe and, and like, thumbs up and yeah, all that kind of good jazz. And uh, we'll see you again in a couple of episodes time, won't we? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We're going to go off now and watch the sewing bee for tonight. <gasps> yes. Yeah. <gasps> it's Irish and British material. Oh. That's what this because. Ah, excellent. So right. Excited. Proper tailoring. Oh, I'd mm. love to be a tailor. Mm. One day. Mm. Young Padawan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Thanks very much, All everyone. Right, talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye. bye.